Okay, only two notches down in darkness now because there's no sun, and three right in the colour green with cute dessert. So who'd have thunk it, eh? Three, almost four bags, three quarters of a bag there in this area. And I still probably could get a little bit more if I actually raked it again. So uh, yeah, so to here. So I reckon we're going to get another four bags out of this section. Maybe four or five out of this section. So, um, mm. so when, when I tell my dad, you know, I, I did 26 bags last year, or I did 32 bags, he, he's scratching his head thinking, I, I don't believe it. And I'm thinking, well, hang on. The evidence starts to accrue over time. <laughs> we do live in an evidence-based society. So, um, I mean, I just got two bags out of that stuff that fell, fell on, on the bricks from the, from the tree up there, as you can probably see. So uh, yeah, so and it's also these little micro, these little cone things, you know. They do actually take up space, you know. And we do take our bushfire risk seriously, especially when you know that for every ten degrees rise in uh, slope, you uh, double the speed. So you know, a fire goes twice as fast at ten degrees. It goes four times as fast as twenty degrees. It goes uh, eight times as fast as thirty degrees, and basically forty-five degrees it's going almost 16 to 20 times faster than it would normally on a flat surface and that's pretty scary and while I do live in the in the foothills and as you can see uh, down here we're definitely on a slope it's, it looks like a very gradual one but when you get up there it's pretty high so from the bush down at the creek line down there it can uh, it can really race and of course you can get uh, spot fires from embers and you can get sort of ignition from just the radiant heat alone. So uh, anyway, that's about it for now. I'll go and put these in the bin and go in and have a nice cup of coffee, I think. Okay, over and out. I better do this on spot.